what's going on guys welcome back chat gpt chat gpt chat gpt chat gpt is everywhere you can generate code with it you can generate blog posts with it some people are even using it to generate some prompts to create art on mid journey at this point it looks like that chat gpt can do anything that you ask it to do but anyways the question still remains can chat gpt crack the SDE level Google interview. In this video, we are going to find out. So for this interview, I have this setup. As you can see, I'm on ChatGPT right now. So this is actually our candidate and I'm going to interview it. Actually, I'm not going to interview it myself. I'm going to use this website called Geeks for Geeks, which has coding related problems so you can solve them. The good thing about Geeks for Geeks is that they give you this filter where you can filter by company. So if I select Google, now I will only get the problems that were asked in a Google interview. Also, there is this uh, filter where I can filter by difficulty level. So you can see easy, medium, hard, basic, whatever. So this interview is going to have three rounds. The first one is going to be an easy one. The second one is going to be of medium difficulty level. And the final one is going to be hard. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So just like any other interview, let's first greet our candidate. So I'm going to say, hi, how are you feeling? And it's telling me hello as an artificial intelligence, I don't have feelings. So it looks like our chat GPT doesn't have any feelings. So that makes our job much more easier. We can be brutal with this guy. So let's start. Let's start with any question that is easy one. Okay, let's start with this one. Subarray with given sum. So it's telling me given an unsorted array A of size N, then that contains only non-negative integers. Okay, let's just copy this whole problem statement and we will give it to chat GPT. All right, let's paste it here. And I also need to tell it, okay, let's see what it says. Okay, it's telling me to solve this problem, you can use sliding window approach. This involves keeping track of the sum of the elements in subarray. Okay, this is good. It's, it's also explaining what it's going to do. So if I was an actual interviewer, I would be really happy that my candidate is also explaining as he goes along. And now he's giving me a code as well. So let's copy the code. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to paste it inside this class. Indent it correctly. And also I need to say self here because I'm inside a class. So let's just compile and run. Okay, I'm getting a runtime error and it's telling me that function sub array sum. Okay, that's an invalid syntax there. I think, I believe this is JavaScript code. Yeah, that's JavaScript code, but how is this? Okay, that's really bad. Do we even have LF in JavaScript? I'm really confused right now. So it's using the function na name as JavaScript. It's writing the function definition as JavaScript, but it's also using Python code somehow. So that's really strange. Okay, let's rephrase that. Give me the code in Python. Okay, now it's defining the function like we define it in Python. I don't know what really happened here. Okay, let's just copy the function, go back and let's paste it. Let's try to compile and run. Okay, that's my mistake. It should be sub array sum. Let's compile and run again. And we have an output difference. It was expecting two, but we are getting one. And it was expecting four and we are getting three. So the code doesn't work. So let's just copy this. Let's just copy this. And let's paste it here. Let's see if it can figure out. I'm going to copy the code again, go back. So far, I'm not that much impressed by chat GPT in this interview, I mean. So let's compile and run. Okay, this time it compiled successfully and we got the expected output as well. Let's try to submit it. Remember that we are on the easiest level of our interview and it's struggling a bit. I don't know why. Possibly your code does not work correctly for multiple test cases. So let's just tell ChatGPT the same thing that it's not working. Okay, it's saying I apologize for the error in my previous uh, solution. There's a mistake in the condition for the right index in the while loop. It should be while right. Okay, it's telling that I made some mistake. I'm totally relying on ChatGPT to give me a solution right now. I'm not thinking myself. So whatever ChatGPT is giving me, I'm just taking it and just directly pasting it there. So let's see. 
if there is any okay we got the expected output let's try to submit it it's again failing on the third test case okay list out of range let's take the error message and paste it let's take it again we are still on the easiest question so the level of difficulty is easy and it's struggling it's not able to solve this problem so let's compile and run it compiled again let's try to submit it we are again getting an error so it looks like chat gpt is not able to solve this problem let's tell it that it's still not working it's still not working this time it passed almost 163 out of 165 but still it gave me an error it's not able to solve this problem let's try some other problem let's see let's see some other problem okay let's give it another chance copy the whole problem statement uh, the problem is longest common prefix in an array so let's go again let's paste it we are giving our chat gpt another chance maybe he is nervous or something so let's see this time it's uh it's explaining and also giving the pseudo code okay give me the code in python done as a class method let's see let's see if it works compile okay we got the expected output let's try to submit it we okay it again failed so looks like chat gpt is really struggling to answer these questions so i don't know what's happening there i have never used geeks for geeks but uh maybe i'm doing something wrong but i don't know it's not able to solve a single question it's giving me this nice looking explanation so that's maybe that's the problem with chat gpt that we it gives us something that looks really realistic but we have to double check it we need to test the code that it produces because when i look at it it looks like this stuff is going to work and it's legit but it doesn't work okay stopped so let's say give me code code and uh, guys i'm not selecting any difficult problems i randomly choose two problems still now and it wasn't able to solve any of those two problems so that's kind of a bummer for me let's paste it again let's compile and run this time the, it failed to produce the output so this problem it can't also solve this problem let's try okay i don't know maybe it's me doing something wrong but for but somehow chat gpt is not able to solve a single problem for me so i think i'm going to reject the chat gpt and i'm going to say that he didn't qualify this interview so let me know what you guys think about this thing uh, at first it kind of mixed two programming languages together and for some reason it wasn't able to solve the easiest difficulty level questions of geeks for geeks i don't know what's going on there maybe we can try some other but i don't want to do that i think this is it for this video let me know what you think about this thing what you just saw in this video yeah i didn't actually plan for this video i just took some random problems and tried to solve them with chat gpt but it wasn't able to solve them so it looks like our jobs are not going to be taken away anytime soon all right i'll see you in the next one till then peace out